Well, ladies and gentlemen, tonight was shown to be the coming out party of year 17, LeBron James. Everybody said he was washed. Everybody said he on the decline. Everybody said he was on the downside of his career. He not who he used to be. He never going to be the same. But tonight he proved everybody wrong exactly how I knew he would. LeBron had 39 points, 12 rebounds, 16 assists, 4 steals, 1 block on 52 from the field, 44 from 3, 82 from the free throw line. Come on now. And this is in year 17. My man is putting up your favorite my players 2K numbers, 2K my career numbers at 34 years old going on 35. In year 17, playing the most minutes played by a player at that age in that year. Come on now. who? How can you dispute this? That man is still putting up numbers. Up there with he put he this man has probably had the most impressive stat line this year out of anybody in the NBA. And he's in year 17. That's what makes him great. You're not gonna see a lot of players doing it. People are still putting this man is in year 17, and he's still in the debate for best in the world. And tonight he proved that he is the best in the world. So when he played, he put up a stat line that you know who wouldn't have put up. Because they don't have the playmaking. And it just is what it is. And that was a big key about it. They don't have the leadership. And it is what it is. He did this efficiently. And that's not all. The Lakers had a good game in general. Playing against a really good Dallas Maverick team that had Porzingis and Dodgers. And I'm going to tell you something about Dodgers. That man played his heart out tonight. He played like what I thought he's going to be. He is going to be a superstar in this league. And I really believe this. And I told people this. I think he's going to be in a GOAT conversation before he's done. Because that man is just spectacular. He's hard to guard. He's crafty. He's smart. He's just a, a leader at that age. It's on his second year in the NBA, and he's just having games like this day in, day out. He the best player on the Mavericks in his second year with four Zingas on the team. That's how cold this man is. That's how cold he is. And you played against a team like that, and they did give you a fight that you had to dig your way out of because it was looking lost. It was looking like the Clippers game. Every time you go up, every time you come back, you go, you get down 10. You're not making your three-point shots. Your bitch ain't contributing. But guess what the difference was tonight? Your stars being aggressive. Anthony Davis, 31. LeBron, 39. Going to the rim, taking the ball, attacking. Now, Anthony Davis didn't play well, particularly in the first, you know, couple quarters, even the third. But in the fourth quarter, in overtime, he locked in, and he did, and he was who we know he is. Only criticism I have by AD is I wish he would be more of a big man when it comes to going inside instead of doing fadeaways and jumpers. But he performed, and he did what he needed to do tonight to get his team to win. The Lakers are going to be a problem this year. If you think they sucked on defense, I heard people. This team was criticized from the start. Oh, they ain't going to be good on defense. But guess what? They're good on defense. They haven't allowed more than 112 this year. The team that you said was going to be the best defensive team allowed 120. So don't tell me that on multiple occasions. So I don't want to hear that. They're good defensively. Then you said they can't make three-point shots. They made three-point shots. Then you said nobody on the bench can hoop, but the bench hoop. They had to hoop. You saw players like Danny Gary make big plays. You saw Avery Bradley playing lockdown defense and making stops. You saw the White Howard making stops. So I don't want to hear it. This Lakers team is legit. They are title contenders, and they are a threat in the Western Conference. And if you don't believe so, you're a hater. And that's facts. It was a great game. They fought back. They played really good defense. A lot of people are going to be like, oh, the refs cheated the Mavericks. And you can say that, but guess what? It's the NBA. It's going to be games where our team is cheated. It's going to be games where your favorite team is cheated. And it's about adjusting. You're not about to tell me that the Mavericks still didn't have a chance to win that game. Were the refs cheating them when the Lakers came back all those times in the game? 
For the refs team, them, when the Lakers went to always high and they took over the game and the Mavericks were missing shots, open shots in the game, when the refs treat them then, no. So it's about adjusting. And the Mavericks didn't adjust and the Lakers did. They dominated and they had a really good game. Frank Vogel is a really good coach. I feel like sometimes he clapped too much, but he did his job tonight. And I appreciate it. I, I, I love this team, and I love the effort I saw from LeBron out there. He showed everybody who he was. I ain't got to say nothing else. Great team win. Great game. I hope everybody appreciated it. I hope everybody liked it. I know I liked it. LeBron is GOAT. And that's all I have to say about it. That's it. Peace.